Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Sea Salt, a Lovecraftian horror strategy game created by YCJY Games, whose games I've played in the past. They've also graciously sponsored this video, and at any point in the video, if you're interested in the game and want to know more, there's a link down in the video description. So a quick overview of this game real quick. So it is a Lovecraftian kind of horror game. This developer has done kind of nautical themed Lovecraftian things before, but in this one, we are essentially, we are the Elder Gods, we control our League of Minions, and we've been sent here to kind of wipe out one of our towns that's getting a little bit blasphemous and kind of getting greedy of their power as we bestowed upon them. So, this is the Book of Dagon. I'll go into this a little bit later. This kind of keeps track of units that we've unlocked, the kind of lore, factions, bosses, which they are... They're very much bosses in this game. This isn't like an RTS where everyone just kind of smacks each other until it's over. But I'll get into the mission first, and we'll kind of come back from that. So right now we are at the Rotwood Swamps. This is a little further in the game, so this is not the tutorial or anything. We have one current apostle. They said that he was once caught by a poor fisherman. And his net the man saw glory ooze from the eyes of Agra. At least him back into the sea, crying that such a beautiful fish is not meant to be eaten by a fool like me. Agra rose to the surface and granted the fisherman three wishes, thus creating the lineage of kings that still rule today. We have bonuses towards swarms and some of the starting units, because that's why it's the kind of starting apostle. There's several ones to a lock, they're all kind of weird looking. But if you all kind of look at them, they're all kind of Lovecrafting figures, except for this, this little lich. But you always need a lich, you need that skeleton representation. Over thousands whispering songs. So to get into the premise a little bit more, um, because you haven't seen the opening cutscene, but basically, we are raiding a town that is... It's not like a bunch of normal people, this is a, um... Kind of like Innsmouth or one of those places, you know. And the we're specifically trying to get to the the preach the preacher who has refused our wishes for her to be sacrificed. But the game is cursor based. You don't control like an entire group. You don't like control select or anything like that. You guide them, and it's a little micro intensive. And if we get a chance to show that... Because I've actually been playing this game, not just for the recordings, like I've actually been kind of digging into it, and it's actually pretty fun. Uh, but I'm a fan of these type of games where you kind of play the villain, and you control like zombies or something like that. So this is a circle. These are the units, at least the ones we've currently unlocked. Um, there was also branching paths that you notice in the map, so it was kind of like Castlevania in that sense, where you kind of get to a branch, you select different missions, so your playthrough's a little bit different. This is our basic unit, the Swarm. You can kind of see in their stats. There's something a little interesting that's called Horror, and that was pretty cool. I kind of discovered what that was as I was playing, because this one has a horror S, correct? So the Madman's like a singular unit, but he has a high amount of horror, so he just runs around screaming. I'll, I'll summon him later. Uh, we'll get some cultism. But basically, horror panics units, or villagers, or hunters, or whatever you're currently fighting. Which, I've discovered is pretty useful. At, at first, I didn't really understand the point of it, because it just everyone was a pushover. But as they all start fighting back, and I think we'll discover that as I go... As you see, like, that thing had- that guy had a weapon, like they were a butcher or something. They started running as soon as they saw my units. So it's almost like a, you know, if you ever use a cast of the fear debuff, that's what it's kind of like. So it's really handy, especially if they got projectiles to kind of close that gap. Also, the sprite work is pretty cool. Oh, we just hate a baby. Oh, shit. And I just lost all my units. Yeah, so this is what I meant about the, I, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> That's what I meant about the, the micro part, so I just lost my entirety of my swarm. Let's try this unit out. 
That guy had a big axe. He slammed it down, did an AoE, wiped everyone out. Don't mess with lumberjacks. Oh god! Oh no, some of the units are trapped. Yeah, we've lost some units pretty badly. This is not a good run. See those little projectile markers? So let's go around from the left. It looks like there's another lumberjack over there. He's in panic mode. Once again, Lost one you oh sh crap. Run away. It does the axe the axe comes down too and does more damage. It's no wonder my units got totaled. Okay. I see how it be. So we'll summon some more units here. I'm gonna show off the madman, just because I think the madman's really cool, but he tends to die. And you only control him. He just runs around screaming. So let's see you going first. Oh crap. Also, we collect gold. That's if you want to unlock additional units, we get enough gold in one go. Let's try. One of them just tripped. Some kind of warrior. We are about to be wiped. This is not actually an easy game, by the way. They're attacking that. They have a shotgun. So anyway, we're gonna take someone other than the madman. Because while he was cool, he was just not useful in that tactical situation. We're gonna take some crabs. Because I saw shotguns. They can absorb things a little bit, kind of be meat shields. Gotta watch out for the spears! And we're collecting gold, as you can see. Don't ask why we need gold, but if we collect gold, we can unlock more units of gold. Try to get everyone to the south. So, this is not really a mindless game. You would think, because you're controlling a swarm. But sometimes you have these type of games where like you control zombies or something, you just kinda send them out and they kinda do their own thing. No, this is this is like if you take one of those micro heavy RTSs and you kind of um, merge the control of one inherent movement. It's hard to describe. Okay, we're gonna need to destroy those. I see what they did here. There's line. Oh god, the shotgun's coming. He's very tanky. The crabs are doing a pretty good job, though. Okay, that's someone new. I'm trying to think. Let's get some worms. They're good against wood. We're getting a lot of barricades. The worms and the crabs. I'm oh, not such a weird sentence. The worms and the crabs are going to be very useful in the combination. Let's go to the right. You can see the trail. Don't! Don't! Get down! Okay, they're feared. Once again, I told you, fear is a poor... The cultists, for example, have low fear. I guess because they're more humanoid. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, there was no one near it, thankfully. So the worms make short work of these barricades and everything. They're good against wood. Can I kite them with the cultists in a while? Will you survive? Okay, these are gonna be a quick mop up. Just dodge that. We're good. Next area. So we haven't unlocked any new units yet, but by the end we'll unlock someone new. Oh god, this guy. The 
crabs really made short work of him. So let's go from this side. Oh god, the guns. That's a bad combo. This is a nasty combo. Okay, one's down. We can get the next one. I can't go to the right, because the guns are there. Crabs could probably tank it, but they'll take some hits before I get to them. Let's... Okay. They're panicked, go. Okay, the skull's showing us there's only like one person left. God, that weird octopus thing. Oh god, that shotgun. Go! Okay, we got him. Needs to be put down. So in case you're wondering, they don't automatically attack. In fact, I have to hit the space key to turn them into attack mode. So it's kind of like I'm always moving the cursor and they kind of follow it. In attack mode, um, tells them like, oh, okay, start seeking, seeking out targets. But they will act inherently dumber than if I don't do that. So for example, sometimes there's fire or like things in the way you'll want to run over. In attack mode, they'll just blitz through it. Movement mode they'll kind of naturally navigate and not just die. So let's... No, I can't get to it. I have to go low. Ooh, this is a tricky one. Oh, one went for the... Try to paint it. Dodge, dodge, dodge! Pick up that ballista. Okay, there's definitely another one here. One's going for the blister. Move away. Don't want to get too close to that. No one's near it. Just in case. I like how someone tripped. That's just a satisfying feeling. Moving, moving, moving. Got these archers. Yeah, you went south. I can't follow you. I'll come back for you. Don't worry. Let's get some general swarmers. There we go. Some bread and butter. Next time we should probably get some more cultists. We can use some more range. We're losing quite a bit of crabs. That's how, that sounds so weird. Maybe this is a boss? Looks like it, yeah. Oh god, flamethrowers. The crabs are not gonna do good here. That's not even a boss, that's just a regular enemy. Crap, crap, crap. I need to take care of the Molotov throwers too. Weird kind of clockwise 
those two out. Some people are burning. Take the flame for out. See if they got a recharge. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Can I hold still? Take that amount. Let's make them bait them to shoot the tree instead. So these we charge. Go in. Just get this over with. Oh god, they have a jetpack. What? No, 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 no. It seems their weakness if they don't want to be surrounded, they won't fire point blank. Okay, and I almost have enough to... Looks like we got a new page. That might have been a boss. But I didn't see a health bar, so... I guess they were a mini-boss. Children, come to me! Give me this small top for I really don't like him. Cultists. Let's shoot for this. Take a little shortcut. That's not a shortcut, that's a death trap. Okay, cleared. Wait, no, it isn't. Ah, see, they ran back in their house. I can't get them. So mur murdered the civilians first, apparently. Let's get more worms. I'm cutting a lot of wood. Oh, this is a bad area to be in. Ooh, this is rough. Crap went down. I need to take care of the ballista because it's limiting my movement way too much. Some people are going to get lost. That's just kind of going to be. We're just going in. Run! The dark gods favor me! I need to take at least one axe person out. Or this mall top is really annoying. Ooh, we gotta lose some people right there. Okay, this is it. I use more cultists and I can use some more. Wouldn't hurt to have some more crabs. Gregor Estate. This maybe is a boss? I'm not sure. Missions are fairly long. Dodge here. these out. They annoy me. Gotta be careful. Let's get some gunners up there. See if there's a path of least travel I can take. There's a flamethrower right there. Uh. 
Let's... Get some crabs. They're fairly useful with all these projectiles coming at us. As long as I just rush them down. I lost all my cultists, but if I rush them down, they stop shooting. God! That was a bad spot. Man, crabs. Crabs MVP. I think there's a trap here somewhere. Yes, there is. Something weird. It's like a sniper rifle or ooh, it's just kind of drifting. Let's fully clear that. Yeah, it literally is a sniper. Well, that's a little more explosive than a sniper rifle should be. Got the tower. Oh god. God, there's just projectiles and everything. They really want me dead. I think I took the harder route of the game. Okay. Just trying to bait. The man man's just gonna run in and get killed. That's his problem right now. Maybe you. More swarmers. All down here. Get the tower out. Shotgun him back right into his own barricade. All good. I got this well organized. Take this tower out once and for all. Some more units. Some worms. We do with the wood. God, that damn rocket jetpack. Crap, stop burning! Uh, let's get... Let's try the madman, actually. So far the crabs. Crabs are really MVP right now. Go madman, go. I'm a little too quiet here. Oh, weird. Who's this? There's someone in there. I can't get him. Sanctuary, maybe? I guess it's just part of the train. 
or like hugging a cross or something weird. So helpful, especially if there's a boss coming up, I feel like. Yeah, here we go. The Undertaker. <laughs> He's got Undertakers. Oh no! The Bone Warden. Oh god. No, I, I can't get to him. I have to like deal with it. Is he trample or no? Ooh, you're pretty tough. Surprisingly, the madman is staying alive, but he's not helping whatsoever. Force down. Sword, don't go near that sword. It looks a little ominous. Okay, we got more units. Crabs. Some gold. I'm gonna stay on the left side. Feels like there's a lot of room here. Watch out for the did summoning. Whoa, 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 whoa. In the middle. Well, this battle feels a lot bigger than I thought. Chase. He's almost dead. I mean, he's got to play it safe. Got gotcha. you. And we unlocked a new card. The Lich. Raises fallen enemies as specters and deals low range damage. But it does not stack. Horror rank A. That seems actually really useful as a unit. So yeah, that's basically how these missions go down. And that was just, those were all introduced newly to do some enemy units in that mission right there. So I had never encountered any of them before, except for like the mall top floor. So I'm constantly having to adapt to the kind of new mechanics that we know I'm locked. Here again, a little cutscene here. A danger that comes exists like the gold, fish, and prosperity that we have been enjoying for the past century. We thought it'd be carry on forever. That we could convince the binding entity that we are worthy. Yes, we are nothing on our own. We belong to a chain of something. Intangible and godly. An emergence that shall not be outcast from the universe. Silence! I am as heartbroken as you are. It may be that we have been forsaken. But faith, our faith is who we are. That shall not go quietly out into the night. So, the priest, he didn't exactly tell them the reason 
um, basically that this god is trying to smite everybody. <laughs> Which is, he asked them to be sacrificed, the priest himself. He's like, oh, now you must join the void. And he's like, no way, I have to, like, stay alive. And the god's like, okay, well, yeah, I'm gonna smite the entire village. Is it north or east? We'll go east, because that looks like farms. This place is a lot more modern than I thought. And let's check out. So this is the Book of Dagon I mentioned. I'm gonna have descriptions of all of these units. The crab, imagine giant spiders of armors. Huge sharp claws that can crack your skull like a walnut and antenna feelers which can sense fear pheromones from the thousands of miles underwater. Near the tiny tanks of the sea, shotgun blasts bounce off their shells and fire only makes air around them smell a little better. The Lich. We use a renewal and recycling of life. Males were never trained as necromancers. They did not harbor life in the way needed for the magic to work. And the few females that had the honor to be trained in necromancy were seen as oracles and priestesses of breathing spirits back into the living world of the seed of death. Necromancy became deeply connected with the Christian faith when Joseph and Mary tried to use necromancy to bring their dead son back to life. This one apparently sends sperms to attack you, by the way. I just saw that right there. Hunters, House Vanderberg, House Markber. Here's some of the bosses. So who did we just kill? The Lone Warden. Out in the hills, the last of the Templars gathered, building a refuge for remaining Christians. There they were ambushed by the armed forces of the Church of Dagon, and the allied houses that followed it. All the Templars were cut down and left to rot, all but one. He knew he needed an army to defeat his oppressors, and by practicing necromancy, he found a way to bring his comrades partially back to life. But his obsession took hold of his soul and made him an iron husk, only living to fight for something long gone. So he apparently was trying to... Indirectly, he was an enemy of an enemy. But he was in our way, so we had to take him out. But yeah, we've, I think I've unlocked like a certain fraction of the units. So I think there's 16 total or something like that. So their variety and what they do and their gimmicks and how they kind of synergize with everyone kind of changes as you go on. Gets a little more in-depth. But yeah, that is it for my preview of CISO. Once again, this video was sponsored graciously from YCJY Games. And if you're interested in the game, check out the link down in the video description. I personally think the game is pretty nifty. Just because, like I said, I like those type of games where you play, like, the bad side, and you kind of invade or something like that. And you never really see a Lovecraftian one. I, I'm not sure if there's really one out there. But a lot of love has gone to this game. You can just kind of sell it by the sprite work and the areas. Um, there were some other areas that were also very pretty. So the tutorial was. The talents were. They had a lot of little details in them. If you check out this developer's catalog, they do some great kind of, like, atmosphere kind of work and like level design and kind of backgrounds and everything. But yeah, anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Sea Salt. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.